So you got your cheap Optiplex, and you got your cheap 1050 Ti, and then you go to put it inside and you realize, oh, this is too wide. How am I going to fit it inside? Today I'm going to show you how you can fit a full width graphics card inside of a Dell Optiplex desktop tower. This is basically a mini tower case, but they sawed it in half down the middle to make it smaller. So let's get right into it. So this is a Dell Optiplex 7090 that I got from eBay for really cheap. It had an i5-2400, 8GB of DDR3, a Western Digital 250GB hard drive, and then I threw in a Silicon Power A55 SSD. Now, the reason people like Optiplexes is because their motherboards are very basic, but they aren't locked down like the newer, like some... HP computers. HP has a tendency to lock down their BIOS is pretty tight and it will not allow you on some models to put newer graphics cards. I say new, this card came out in 2016, but this is a single fan Zotac 1050 Ti and uh, this fan is just a replacement fan I put on there because the one I got a good deal on this card because the fan was busted. Anyway, if I go to put this card inside the computer here There's a small problem. The card sticks up probably an inch and a half out the side of the case. Now, if you were plan if you really wanted to do this cheap, that would be fine. But I'm going to show you my method of putting the graphics card inside using grab it. A PCIe X16 extender cable. This is basically a male X16 and a female X16 with a 250 millimeter ribbon cable in between them. So I'm going to show you how I installed this. So what you're going to do is on the case is before you do anything you're going to get a big pair of cutting pliers and to remove the metal piece that runs between here and here because if you don't remove that you're just wasting your time and then you're going to also remove the I only removed one here because uh, I was only going to use the display port. but if you're going to use like the DVI, you're going to want to remove the rest of these PCIe brackets here with just another pair of pliers or if you have a Dremel that's good. Uh, I would recommend masking off the area around the motherboard before you do that. But what you're going to do is you're going to take the PCIe extender and plug it into the top port like that then these cables tend to be rather flexible so this shouldn't be a problem you're going to take the cable and push it down and into the bottom of the oh into the bottom of the motherboard like that and then you're going to repeat the process but going up like that so now we have a double fold and then we're going to go we're just going to push the bottom into there before you do that you're going to take the 10 the uh, graphics card slide it into the slot and then a little bit of it's a rather tight fit with this card but there we go now the 1050 Ti is inside and connected so turn the case around so we have our rear IO down here let me focus the camera So we have the DVI here in DisplayPort. The HDMI is kind of hidden back up here, so I guess if you took a Dremel, you could kind of clean this out if you wanted to get to the HDMI port. But since I have a DisplayPort to HDMI, I'm just going to use that. So as far as uh, the FPS you'll get in games, in Fortnite I was getting about 60 FPS at the medium preset. And on the high preset with shadows turned off, I was getting more like 50, 60, but I was getting frame drops to about 20 FPS. So the reason for that was on my Ryzen CPU, uh, the GPU is not being bottlenecked where the i5 to 2400 and 2500 just aren't powerful enough anymore to run something as powerful as a, I wouldn't say it's like a super powerful card, but the 1050 Ti is too much for these i5s. You would need an i7-2600 just because the extra threads really make a difference. 
and honestly even if you can get the i5 2500 it is just a lot better than the 2400 because of its higher clock speed so if you have any questions you can leave them in the comments and i'll do my best to help you and if you found this video helpful i'd also like to hear how it was helpful for you in the comments as well and if you guys could like and subscribe that would be awesome see you all next time bye